What's going on guys, I'm here today bringing you a quick, hopefully easy to understand tutorial on how you can use Restream.io to stream to multiple locations such as YouTube, Twitch, um, what else is there, Mixer, many many others, we're going to go over that as well, in conjunction with the new Streamlabs OBS program which combines both Streamlabs and OBS to get the most out of your streaming experience. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume you already have at least a YouTube account, a Twitch account, a Mixer account, you're already streaming somewhere, and maybe you're on two platforms. And again, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use, or I will use YouTube and Twitch as my examples, because that is what I do. So the first thing you're going to need to do to make Restream.io work is create a Restream.io account. So we're right here on the main homepage. You can see you got your little movie camera right here going into the Restream.io server. And these are all the different places, locations you can stream to. So what you want to do is sign up now. You create a username, give your email, and create a password. I already have an account, so I'm going to be logging in and bring you in to my homepage, which is uh, right here. And it shows you we've got both YouTube and Twitch. These are the two platforms, like I said, that I do stream to. Uh, when you go in here for the first time, you're not going to see anything. You're going to go your dashboard, uh, which is probably where you're going to be when you first log in. You're going to go over here to add channel. So what you want to do is then wherever you stream to wherever you stream to wherever you're trying to dual stream to triple stream whatever you whatever you want to do send the stream out to as many places as you can here you go you got mixer you got twitch you got youtube gaming youtube events youtube stream now um all sorts of places now one thing i will point out to you if you're looking for facebook live you actually have to create a custom rtmp not sure what that stands for somebody will probably let me know down in the comments below but that's going to cost you 15 dollars a month so what you really want to try to do is use what you have here for free. Um, you just click whatever it is that you want, you sign into your account, and then that account will be connected uh, right here on your channels. So what you can do here real quick is uh, take a look over here on this side. This is the server that you're going to be streaming to. What I did was I picked the one that is closest to my geographical location, which is uh, I'm in the New Jersey area, so Washington, D.C. I did some speed tests, found out that this was the best server for me to stream to out of all the ones that are offered. It's uh, going to change for you depending on where you are. And then you've got your stream key. Don't let anyone ever see what this is, but this is going to be very important. Remember that this is where your stream key is located. It's at your dashboard, it's on the right side. What else can you do with Restream.io is uh, you can monitor all of the chat that's going on in all of your streams. Now, I know we're just setting this up right now and I'm going a little bit quick, but this is something that's gonna be very important because you got chat in your, for me, you got chat on YouTube, you got chat on Twitch. So you download this uh, chat thing right here. And what I did was I downloaded the client for Windows. And uh, I'll open it up for you real quick. So if I go in and search my Restream chat desktop app, we're gonna open that up. Uh, it's gonna show you real quick what it does is it's going to basically be a small chat window which is over here. And as people would speak, I'm not streaming right now but as they would speak it would pop up in this window and it actually tells you whether for me it's on youtube or if it's on twitch uh in the top left corner you can see how many channels you have in your dashboard and then how many channels it is connected to so as long as those two numbers match you're good to go both the channels for me youtube and twitch are connected and they are uh, they are working right next to it is going to be your viewer count and that is a combined viewer count across both platforms so that is how you capture your chat. Uh, one other thing that you can do is if you go into titles, uh, it will allow you to, you know, put the title out that you want to that you want to uh, for the game that you're going to play. So, for example, we got YouTube right here. We're going to edit that title. And uh, I was recently playing Fortnite, so you go in, you put up whatever game you want to play, whatever the title is, and all that. You click update and then it will pump that out to YouTube. There's nothing else that you need to do with that. Same thing works when you go down here to uh, to uh, Twitch. So you go to edit now with Twitch, you need to select the game. Even if you start a game, you know, another game I like to play is uh, Destiny 2. So if you start it, it will automatically pick some games up for you. Just click that. Then you put in whatever the title is, you click update and you're good to go. 
that's the basic thing on Restream.io, guys. If you do have any questions on how this is set up, please let me know down in the comments below. But we're going to move on to the next step, and that's going to be linking your Restream account to your Streamlabs OBS software. So you can see I have the Streamlabs OBS software opened up right now. If you're signing in for the first time or if you're just getting started with this, what's going to happen is you're going to launch the uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, program and it's going to ask you to sign in either through Twitch or through YouTube. That is right now. Again, this is in beta. If you're watching this video in the future, this may be completely different and things may have evolved, but this is how things are done right now. So for me, I signed in through Twitch just in case anything looks slightly different and you guys will understand. Uh, just so you know, again, I have signed in through Twitch. You can sign in through either account. It doesn't matter. So when you sign in, um, you're going to go up top to settings and then you're gonna go over to stream. Now, for you guys, whatever service you signed in through, whether it was Twitch, whether it was YouTube, whether it was Mixer, whether it was whatever, or I guess you can't, so it's only Twitch or YouTube. That's what I just got done saying. So ignore what I just said. You're gonna have signed in through either Twitch or YouTube, and everything you need to stream to that platform is going to be filled out right here. So when I originally signed in through Twitch, my service was listed right here as Twitch. It had the server as if I was uh, um, streaming to Twitch, and the stream key was my Twitch stream key. But that's not what we want to do. We want to stream to Restream. So what you're going to want to do is go to the service tab right here. You're going to scroll down to Restream.io. Guys, if you don't see it, if you don't see it, uh, just go right here and click show all services not sure why they have this but it's going to make a whole bunch of extra services pop up I don't know why that wouldn't just be the default but just in case you can't see it uh, or in case restream does not pop up that's what you're gonna want to see then you go down to server and you're gonna pick the server that was the same server you saw on the restream website um, again it's going to I think for the most part have the same ones listed I don't think you can actually choose different ones or choose one that wasn't listed on the Restream website. But just to make sure, make sure that they both match. The last thing, the most important thing is going to be your stream key. There will be a stream key in here, but again, if you sign in through Twitch, it's gonna be your Twitch stream key. If you sign in through YouTube, it's gonna be your YouTube stream key. You wanna go back to the Restream.io website, right where we were looking on the dashboard page on the right side. It's going to show you, uh, it's going to give you your stream key. You wanna copy and paste that into this page right here when you're all set you're going to click done and that is it that is a very basic setup um, there's a lot of more uh, a lot of more parameters you can mess around with but right now you are set to stream to both in this case youtube and twitch that was what we were trying to do here but again if you linked a different account through the restream.io website you can go in uh, like through mixer a whole bunch of other locations whatever you set up on that website you will be good to go guys that's going to do it for this video i am planning on putting out another video that tells you exactly how to manage all of your alerts that's going to be and again my example we've got youtube and uh twitch that's going to be subscribers on youtube super chats on youtube donations uh between to both platforms and then uh followers over on twitch as well so it's a little bit different you can't do everything through the Streamlabs OBS software right now. Again, this is early in development, so things may change if you're watching this video in the future. But uh, to do all that, you're actually going to have to go through the Streamlabs website. But again, we're going to go over that in the next video. So stick around. If you guys did find this video helpful, please hit that like button. And uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hope it helped. Let me know questions down below in the comments. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.